Hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at transposition. So, what is transposition? Well, consider the following equation 25 plus 12 equals 37. Is this equation true? Well, of course it is true, so scratch that. Ah. So, now consider this equation. 25 plus x equals 37. How do you go about finding x? So we know x is equal to 12. But first, we need to make x the subject of the formula. In order to make x the subject of the formula, we need to remove the 25 from the left side of the equation. So let's do that. We have to subtract 25 from the left side of the equation. But notice that if we subtract 25 from the left side of the equation, that would give us x equal 37. So we have to also subtract 25 from the right side of the equation. That will give us back x equal 12. Wow! Now, notice that the 25 plus 12 will give you the 37. So we notice in the red color, when we subtracted, what's on the left we had to subtract that same amount on the right side of the equation. So now, what is transposition? First thing we need is to define a formula. A formula is just an algebraic relationship between two or more variable quantities. And now transposition is going to involve rearranging the terms in a formula to make a particular variable of that formula ah. a subject. For example, Many of us do physics, and we might learn that force is equal to mass times acceleration. That's what we learn. So F is equal to M times E. Or maybe you get another. Or maybe you might learn that area is equal to length times width. Ah. And maybe a question might ask you to make the length the subject. In this case, make L the subject. So notice, area is length times width. So we need to make L the subject of the formula. So the question you're going to ask yourself is, how can I make L the subject of the formula? So we notice we need to remove the W from the right side of the equation. So let's do that. Notice on the right side, to remove the W, we have to divide by W. Remember what we said? Anything we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So we divide the area by W as well. Ah. In that case, we get that area over the width would give us the length. And so the length is area over the width. Wow. That's known as transposing a formula. So consider this equation. P equal 2 in bracket L plus W. We know this is the formula for perimeter and it's perimeter of a square. So now this question says to make W the subject. Now how would you go about making W the subject? We notice we need to divide both sides of the equation first by two, just to get rid of that two times L plus W. Then we need to subtract L. Ah. So my question to you is, do you notice anything? Well, what you should have noticed is that we perform the inverse operation to make the new variable the subject of the formula. Ah. So, con so consider this table right here, right? So if the operation is adding, the inverse operation would be subtracting. For example, let's say you have a plus b. Let's say you have a plus 3 equal b. Then in order to make a the subject, you'd have to subtract three from both sides. The operation is addition, but to remove the addition, we subtract three from both sides, and that would give us A equal B minus three. Ah. Notice when the operation is subtracting, in order to make the variable the subject, we'd have to add. So if A minus three equal B, then we have to add to both sides to end up get a equal b plus 3. Ah. Now look at if we were multiplying. 
if we are multiplying, in order to make the variable the subject, we have to divide. So 7a equal b. We have to divide both sides by 7 to get a to be the subject. And a would then be b over 7. Ah. Now, when you're dividing, in order to make the variable the subject, you have to multiply. Ah. So multiplying both sides by b in the example given, a over b is 6. Multiplying both sides by b, that will give us a is 6 times b. Ah. Squaring a number. In order to get rid of the square, we have to square root. And so a squared equal b to, to get a, we have to square root both sides and a would be the square root of b. Ah. And if you're square rooting a number, for example, the square root of a equal b, we have to square both sides in order to get rid of the square root. So all of this right here, we're going to put it into practice. So look at this question here. It says, make the following variables in the bracket the subject of the formula. So we're going to do all these questions displayed on the screen. So for question one, p equals 6a plus 5g. Make the variable in the bracket the subject a. Pause the video and attempt. All right, so the first thing is p equals 6a plus 5g. But in order to make a the subject, we realize we need to get rid of the 5g and the 6. Ah. Let's do it step by step. We first can get rid of the 5g. So in order to get rid of the 5g, we have to subtract 5g from both sides. And so that will give us p minus 5g is equal to 6a. Ah. Ah. Now that we have p minus 5g is equal to 6a, we notice that the a is now being what? Multiplied by 6. So to get rid of that 6, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 6. And so what we're getting now is P minus 5G over 6 is equal to A because the 6 will cancel. Ah. Now we can just flip it around, flip the equation around. So A is P minus 5G over 6. Really nice. That's so nice. the subject of the formula. Let's try the second one. D equal y plus y over 5. Make y the subject. Pause the video and attempt. Alright, so D is y plus y over 5. First thing we need to do is write that as one fraction. Yes, man. Go back to LCM. Finding the lowest common multiple. Finding the LCM, we end up get D is 5y plus y over 5. If you're not seeing it straight away, go ahead and draw the line. And of course... Do your, do your fraction, all right? But that is what you'll get. And now, the 5y plus the y is 6y. So d is 6y over 5. Ah. In order to make y the subject, we need to get rid of the 6 over 5. First, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 5. So d times 5 is equal to 6y over 5 times 5. So, ah. that tells us that 5d is equal to 6. Now, we need to get rid of that 6 beside the y. So, we're going to have to divide both sides by 6 because the operation is multiplication. So, dividing both sides by 6, 5d over 6 is y. In other words, we're saying y is 5d over 6. Ah. Really nice. Now, number 3 says f is equal to a over 3 minus a b now this question right here we need to make a the subject of the formula so again we do our lcm that becomes f equal to a minus 3 a b over 3 all we did was find the lcm of the two ah. we notice that look at that right there there's a three in the de denominator so we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by three so it becomes 3f is equal to a minus 3ab. Now you're probably saying, what? I didn't see any multiplication. No problem. We did the multiplication, all right? Ah. Now that we have 3f is equal to a minus 3ab, we can factor out the a from the right-hand side. Ah, Factoring a, we have a in bracket 1 minus 3b. So when we take out that a, we end up seeing that 
3f is a in bracket 1 minus 3b. So we have to divide both sides by 1 minus 3b. And so in other words, a is 3f over 1 minus wow. 3b. Really nice. I know some of the steps have been skipped, but that's how you typically do that question. Ah. All right, number four. Pause the video and attempt this question. 5 in bracket u plus 4 is equal to u in bracket v minus 1, and I want you to make u the subject of the formula. Pause the video and attempt. So first and foremost, in doing this question, we need to expand in the bracket. So we're going to multiply the 5 times u to get 5u, and the 5 times 4 to get 20. That's equal to u times v minus the u times 1 is u. Now, we need u's on one side of the equation. So look what we're going to do. The right side of the equation, we're going to subtract uv and add u to both sides of the equation. So we'll put it in red. We subtract uv and add u. By doing that, we notice that the uv minus the uv will be 0. And the minus u plus u will be 0. And then on the right side, we will have 5u plus u minus uv plus 20 equals 0. Of course, we can then add 5u and u to get 6u minus uv. And what we can do then is subtract 20 from both sides to have 20 minus 20 is equal to 0 minus 20. Beautiful. Then, of course, we notice that we end up get 6u minus uv is negative 20. We then can factor out u and we have u times 6 minus v is negative 20. In other words, if we divide both sides by 6 minus v, that would cancel the 6, 6 minus v times u and that will give us u is negative 20 over 6 minus v. Now we see the negative in the numerator, we can put it in the denominator, all right? Put that negative in the denominator and then apply that negative into the bracket. We get u is 20 over v minus wow. All right, so u works out to be 20 over v. That's how we make u the subject of the formula. Let's do a couple more questions. So it says 2 over c minus 4 is equal to 5 over c plus 7. Make C the subject of the formula. Pause the video and attempt. All right, what about this question here? Make X the subject. Pause the video and attempt. All right, now the last question to tackle. These ones know it's square root. So t is equal to the square root of ax minus b over v plus bx. Make x the subject of the formula. So stay tuned to CXC Math TV. That's it for today. Keep on practicing and make sure to have a blessed day.